India's satellite fleet powered by ISRO is fully prepared to monitor and strategize against Pakistan. On day one itself, ISRO activated dozens of satellites redirecting their focus towards Pakistan. This unprecedented move has left even Russia and NASA astounded. A storm is brewing in India, poised to unsettle its neighboring nation Pakistan. This time, India has demonstrated to the world that when it comes to power and strategy, it is unmatched. The first step was economic pressure. India imposed measures that effectively blocked Pakistan's water routes. Leveraging all its rights under the Indus Water Treaty, India has initiated massive water management projects to control rivers like Jhelum, Chenab and Ravi. The impact is already visible in Pakistan. Farmlands are drying, dams stand empty, and the scarcity of water has turned into a national crisis, leaving the country in disarray. But this is only the beginning. With a game-changing collaboration between DRDO and ISRO, India has devised a master plan so innovative that even NASA has taken notice. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. India's fleet of satellites is actively monitoring every move in Pakistan, providing real-time intelligence to India's control room, whether day or night. These satellites are so advanced that they can even capture details like the license plate of a truck crossing the border. This deployment signals that India is gearing up for a significant operation. But what makes these satellites so formidable that they have disrupted Pakistan's peace of mind? What advanced satellite technology does ISRO possess that allows it to monitor Pakistan and support India's defense operations? And how does this technology ensure India stays ahead of not just Pakistan, but even countries like China? Let's dive into this fascinating story. India's satellites are so powerful that they can detect even the minutest details from space, including radar and radio signals emanating from Pakistan. Take Cartosat 3 for instance, a marvel of space technology. This satellite boasts an impressive resolution of 25 centimeters, enabling it to capture high definition images of objects as small as a book lying on the ground. Then comes Resat 2B, equipped with an advanced X band radar capable of detecting enemy movements even in the darkest nights or through dense clouds. It can scan objects as small as 0.5 meters making it a critical asset. Adding to this is the MSAT, which intercepts radar and radio signals, effectively exposing Pakistan's communications in real time. India's GSAT-7 and GSAT-7A satellites serve as the backbone of secure communication for the nation's defense forces. These satellites relay real-time data to drones, fighter jets and naval fleets, ensuring seamless coordination. Meanwhile, the Hyperspectral Imaging Satellite, or HISIS, specializes in detecting chemical and explosive traces, providing invaluable intelligence to thwart any threats. This formidable satellite network has become a guardian, dismantling every potential conspiracy from Pakistan. ISRO has now placed these satellites on high alert, signaling that something significant is on the horizon. India's vigilance over Pakistan's movements is unmatched. The clarity and precision of its satellite imagery and intelligence gathering have even earned NASA's admiration. But the burning question remains, why has India mobilized such an extraordinary effort? What master plan is compelling Pakistan to retreat? Stay tuned and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's delve into the incredible power that has propelled India into the ranks of space superpowers. First, let's discuss the Cartosat series, India's vigilant eyes in space. These satellites provide exceptionally clear images during daylight, capable of identifying details like a soldier stationed at a military base in Pakistan. The launch of Cartosat 3 in 2019 marked a significant milestone. With its unmatched 25 cm resolution, comparable to the best satellites globally, it can distinguish details like the model number of a tank at the bottom. This unparalleled capability provides India with real-time intelligence on every development. 
For Pakistan, these satellites are like a ticking clock, relentlessly tracking every movement. Moving on, let's examine the Resat series. These satellites are game changers capable of operating under any condition, night, cloud cover or adverse weather, ensuring uninterrupted surveillance. During the Balakot mission of 2019, when optical satellites struggled to provide clear visuals due to cloud cover, Resat-2B stepped in, offering detailed radar imaging to confirm the destruction of targets. Its powerful X-band radar can detect objects as small as 0.5 meters, ensuring that even concealed weapons in Pakistan cannot escape its scrutiny. Adding to this prowess is Amisat, launched in 2019. This satellite specializes in intercepting enemy radar and communication signals. For instance, if Pakistan activates any radar system, Amisat instantly identifies its location and frequency, providing crucial intelligence to India's forces about ongoing activities. Complementing these is the dynamic duo of GSAT-7 and GSAT-7A, the backbone of India's military communication network. These satellites enable seamless real-time data sharing among the Indian Army, Navy and Air Force. For example, if Cardosat captures high-resolution imagery of a location in Pakistan, that image is instantly relayed to fighter jets or drones via GSAT-7, ensuring swift and coordinated action. With this capability, our armed forces can act without delay. And let's not forget the crucial HISIS satellite, a game-changer with its hyperspectral imaging technology. This satellite can identify chemicals, explosives, or any specific materials on the ground. For instance, if an area raises suspicion, HISIS can confirm whether any hazardous substances are concealed there. When it comes to space power, ISRO has positioned India far ahead of Pakistan. While global space agencies collaborate with ISRO, Pakistan lags significantly in comparison. Their satellite arsenal includes just two or three options like PRSS-1 and parktas one a both developed with China's assistance. However, these satellites have limitations. Their resolution of 1 meter pales compared to India's 0.25 meter capabilities. Moreover, Pakistan lacks radar imaging or electronic intelligence satellites. Instead, they heavily rely on China's Gaofan satellites or commercial imagery both of which fall short of India's real-time surveillance capabilities. However, the real game-changer is yet to come. NISAR, the next leap in India's satellite capabilities, which promises to elevate space surveillance to unprecedented levels. A joint collaboration between ISRO and NASA. NISAR stands for NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, a groundbreaking venture that combines the expertise of both nations. What sets NISAR apart is its dual L-band and S-band radar technology, capable of functioning day and night in all weather conditions. With a resolution ranging from 3 to 10 meters, it excels at scanning large areas with remarkable precision. For instance, if Pakistan starts constructing a military camp along the border, NISAR will detect it instantly, regardless of cloud cover or environmental challenges. Adding to its challenges, Pakistan also finds itself under the radar of India's DRDO missile systems, making the situation increasingly grim. With no real-time monitoring capabilities and a limited satellite infrastructure, Pakistan is ill-equipped to match India's technological advancements. DRDO's BrahMos missile can strike a target at supersonic speeds. Its unique feature is its ability to be guided with such precision via satellite data that it can hit a target with a meter. Now imagine the devastating power of a missile like BrahMos when combined with accurate location data from Cartosat 3, Resat 2B and Nisar working all together. The precision and effectiveness of this combination make it a formidable weapon. To compound this, India has begun leveraging its rights under the Indus Water Treaty, taking measures to fully utilize its share of water resources. Major projects like the Kishan Ganga and the Ratle Hydropower projects in Jammu and Kashmir are in full swing. 
These projects will not only provide India with essential electricity and water, but also significantly impact Pakistan's water supply. Additionally, India's drone program is progressing rapidly. DRDO has developed several indigenous drones such as the Rustam 2, capable of staying in air for up to 36 hours. These drones can monitor and target in real time, aided by satellite data. For instance, if MISAT detects a suspicious signal, Rustam 2 can provide a live feed of that area, allowing India to track the enemy's movements without risking any personnel. India shows no signs of slowing down. ISRO plans to launch even more advanced satellites in 2025, including the GIA-SETI, which will provide 24 by 7 monitoring from geostationary orbit. Furthermore, India is developing small swarm satellites to enhance border surveillance. The unique advantage of these swarm satellites is their quick deployment capability and their agility, making them more adaptable and efficient than larger satellites. This strategy underscores India's commitment to maintaining a decisive technological edge. Jai Hind!